So I've got a couple of things I need to get off my chest. And quite frankly, it's not going to be nice. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a rant for once. Um, Bruce, obviously. Bruce. And I'm going to tell you about the uh, one old draw with Rotherham as well. So, uh, hi guys, my name is Jason. You're watching the Keeping It Tune YouTube channel. Hey guys, I hope you are doing well and welcome to a morning sh uh, video from me for once. Uh, by the time it gets uploaded, it probably will be the afternoon, but I'm recording this in the morning. And uh, after seeing a statement from Bruce, which I, well, what I believe to be a statement from Bruce last night, um, I got quite annoyed, I got quite angry, quite pissed off. And I felt I needed to vent my anger out of it. Um, as we all know, Callum Wilson is our main option as striker. He's the one that's going to get us our goals. But we do know that Callum Wilson is injury prone. He's had his fair amount of injuries that have kept him out for very uh, long periods of time both at Newcastle and at his previous club, Bournemouth. Uh, it's only going to take one uh, injury and... it Well, it could only take one injury and it could end his season. So we obviously need that backup striker. We know that Dwight Gale is our second striker, but he's not doing it for us. He's not getting the goals. He's not really showing much at all especially during pre-season he has not performed he's been non-existent um, we've got rid of Andy Carroll obviously that was a good uh, thing to do uh, Yoshinori Muto seems to be on his way out poor lad's not been, even been given a chance um, but I wish him all the well if he does go to Greece uh, so that leaves us with just Dwight Gow because it has already been admitted by Steve Bruce himself that Joel Linton is not a fucking striker yet he still plays him as a fucking striker but this is what gets me the most Steve Bruce has apparently come out and said that he will not be replacing Andy Carroll or any or Yoshinori Muto as he is quite happy and has enough attacking uh, players in Joel Linton, Dwight Gow, Ryan Fraser, midfielder, Miggy Almiron, midfielder, St. Maximin, midfielder. What the fuck? None of them are going to get 10 plus goals. Callum Wilson gets injured. That is us done. We are definitely going down. Why are we not bringing in another fucking striker? We are calling for a striker. We are demanding back up to Wilson. We want another proven goal scorer to be ready to pounce the moment that Callum gets injured or having them playing together. Steve Bruce is not doing this. We have yet to bring in anyone at all in this window. We are constantly spending weeks on end trying to bring in Joe Willock. Or well, are we trying to bring in? Are we even doing anything to bring him in? We should have brought him in the moment the window opened. Regardless of what Arsenal are saying, offer whatever money we have, and especially the money that we've got from uh, Lejeune who again should never have been sold and give that to Arsenal to bring in Willock permanently or get him on loan with an option to buy we need players in if we're just going to bring in Willock I still see us going down 
because we're having the exact same team as what we had in the second half of last season. We need a good three players minimum that I feel to give us any chance of finishing outside of that relegation zone. And a lot of us are saying we are going down. Or 17th. And a lot of us do not want 17th. Definitely not 17th. We don't want to be that one that survives by a point or by goal difference. Bruce is absolutely fucking clueless. Throughout this pre-season, he has been fucking useless. We lose to York City. Five leagues below us. Yes, you're going to run and say it's only pre-season it's all about fitness we should be fucking beating a team five leagues below us seriously York fucking city we put out a first team squad okay minus the goalkeeper but I thought Dan Langley did pretty fucking well we lose the defence was non-existent there they did not protect the goalkeeper we were not even fighting. York City were outplaying us. We move on. We go to Doncaster. Uh, League 2, League 1. Yes, we won. But again, the defence is not protecting the keeper. It's not always going to be the keeper's fault. The defence needs to be there to protect him. We concede two at Doncaster. Yes, we scored three, but we still conceded two. The defence is not there. We leave that with a win, fine. Then we go to fucking Rotherham. Oh my God, Rotherham. The pitch was in an absolute state. Wet everywhere. It was soaked. Absolutely soaked. The linesmen were running in puddles. We were all running in puddles. And they could have easily beaten us. 1-1 the final score. Absolutely horrific. What more is there to say about this? Absolutely fucking horrible. And to top it off. Seriously. Dwight Gow is off the field. And Callum Wilson comes off. For Jeff fucking Hendrick. Jeff fucking Hendrick. Okay, fine. We'll get we'll say fine preseason, get him his fitness, whatever, fine, okay. Deal with it. He's playing him as a fucking number nine. He's up front on his own. Come off the hour, come off the fucking saviour. I don't know why I'm saying this. We get a corner. Jacob Murphy, yet again, brilliant. I'm so happy he has signed a new deal. He uh, whips in the corner and Jeff Hendrick gets his head to it. And scores. He gets the equaliser and we end the game 1-1. To be fair, Rotherham could have still gone on and won the game 2-1. They had so many chances. They outplayed us all over the field. At least you could say roughly 75 minutes of that game was all Rotherham. We were awful, yet again, Steve Bruce does not do tactics. He has admitted he does not do tactics. He has even said, and we, if you don't already know, he was, uh, well, he has never got his badges. He hasn't even earned his badges. When he walked into... Uh, management uh, roughly 20 years ago I think it was that he said 
he didn't have to get badges. He didn't have to do any of that. And he walked straight into a job. So this guy isn't even a qualified fucking manager. Well, I get he's not a manager. Look at his job uh, title. Stop calling him our manager. His job title is head coach. He can't even coach, but his job title is head coach. Not manager. Don't call him the manager. He is not a manager. He's not even worth being called a manager. He is Steve fucking useless bellend cabbage Bruce. He needs to fuck off. Seriously, get out of the club. Piss off. Fuck off. Piss off. Leave. Walk away. Whatever. You said you will never walk away from this club. You will never walk away from a challenge. I guarantee you, Bruce. I fucking guarantee you. 100%. We chanted you out at Rotherham. We were saying that you are a shit Steve McLaren at Rotherham. Wait until you are at St James's Park when the season starts. You say you won't walk away. You will be running with your towel between your legs because it is going to be so, so, so toxic at St James's Park and you're not going to be able to handle it. You've been able to take digs at us throughout all of lockdown because we have not been in that stadium. You keep calling us keyboard warriors. Tell you what, all those keyboard warriors will be at the stadium. And we'll bring our fucking keyboards and lob them at you if we have to. <laughs> you are so fucking useless. We never wanted you. When your name was suggested um, to be manager, we never wanted you. When you came into the club, we still didn't want you. I, myself, was straight on the Bruce out uh, wagon. I didn't want you. It's the fact that Lee Charnley, yeah, he can't be trusted either, but he came out and said that gave us all that bit of hope that when Rafa left, Lee Charnley said in a statement, I want to bring in someone with the same calibre as Rafa Benitez. In walks fucking Steve Bruce. That is so much disrespect to Rafa. It really is. To say that Steve Bruce, Steve fucking Bruce, is as good a manager as Rafa Benitez. Fucking go do one. Seriously, go fucking do one. Rafa was loved by all. We had flags around the stadium. We chanted his name. We sung his name. We loved Rafa. We would love to have had him back. But we're taking too long with this fucking takeover. I'm pretty sure he would have loved to have come back as well. He knows how much we loved him. And what do we get? We get fucking Steve Bruce. I really hope this takeover does happen. I really hope it goes through ASAP. I don't want to have more time with Steve Bruce as manager. We are going down, in my eyes. There's no surviving this. Alan St. Maximum has uh, clearly stated, and we've all seen the statement. If we haven't, then go back and check it somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure where it is now. But... um. He has said, if we don't start competing, and if we don't start, uh, well, if we don't stop constantly being in a relegation battle, he wants out. 
And also, we need to improve the squad week in, week out. Uh, not week in, week out. Uh, every window. We're not doing this. We're not meeting his needs. And I don't blame him if he goes. Because who would want to work under Steve Bruce? Look at who we've been linked with. Uh, players like Mario Lamina. The club itself is attracting the players. But no one wants to play under Steve fucking Bruce. Now I was on John Sinclair's uh, uh, channel last night. And we were talking about Steve McLaren. And I said, and I stick to it, that... Steve Bruce has brought in 14 players since becoming Newcastle manager. He has spent more money than any Newcastle manager in in Newcastle's history. More than, well, roughly half, just over half of those players have been absolutely useless. Now, the difference between Bruce and McLaren is that McLaren brought in the right players. And I'm going to stick to that. McLaren brought in the right players, good players, but he didn't manage them well enough. If he had managed them well enough, those players and that team, you could see, had the potential. Wijnaldum, Mitrovic... They had the potential. Wijnaldum got 11, 11 goals. Albeit all, got all those goals were at home. Uh, we all remember that four, those four goals against Norwich. Uh, right there, McLaren beat Norwich. Steve Bruce has yet to beat Norwich uh, as Newcastle manager because we got humiliated in his first season in charge against uh, Norwich. That 3-1 humiliation. That we all vented our anger so much about. Especially by saying this is why we didn't want him. Because he is useless. He does not do tactics. But yes I stand by what I said. Steve McLaren is better in terms of knowing how good a player is. Because most of Bruce's signings have been fucking awful. Uh, Emil Craft, I think has been a useless signing. Um... Joel Linton, used to sign. Yes, you can say he's he's an Ashley buyer or he's a Rafa buyer. Rafa didn't want him, especially not for that amount. But whatever, it still goes down as a Bruce signing. Joel Linton, Emil Craft, Jeff fucking Hendrick, Ryan Fraser, unless he starts to prove himself this season, has been fucking awful. Andy Carroll, in my eyes, he shouldn't have returned because... Look at how he play, look at how he done over these last two seasons. One goal, you could say two goals because he scored in a preseason game, but one goal in I don't know how many appearances it was because he barely had any 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 game time. Uh, coming on for the odd thirty seconds here and there, all full. There's five right there. Um, who else has he brought in? I want to say uh, Jamal Lewis, but I know there is a player there. There is a very good player in Jamal Lewis, and he's just been bruised. So I, won't, I ain't going to mention Jamal Lewis. Um, who else we got? I get the feeling Mark Gillespie shouldn't really have been uh, brought in. I don't see much in him. I'm not. I, and he's come from Motherwell. Don't get me wrong. The Scottish League is okay. But I don't see what warrants him uh, coming to the club. Uh, we have Freddie Woodman. We have Dan Langley who is doing, I thought, done pretty well. Uh, it's just that he's not being protected. And for six foot seven inches, I mean, come on. This guy is tall. And 20 years old, he's got a future. Uh, Freddie Woodman's got a future and he could potentially be starting the season. We've got a lot of goalkeepers. We can definitely say that. But 
Bruce has made so many poor signings. He bangs on about he's always wanted to sign Dwight Gow. He's always wanted to work with Dwight Gow. Uh, he never uses him. He's been using him a fair amount in the preseason, but he never uses him. So there's more bullshit to go with his I won't bullshit the fans. Constantly still bullshitting. Um, do you know what? Just go. We don't want you. Take the fucking hint, Steve Bruce. The fans do not want you. Come the start of the season against West Ham, the way this preseason has gone, we are going to lose. We will lose that first game of the season. Uh, West Ham are banging in goals left, right, and centre through their preseason. Um, and if we lose to West Ham, it's not going to be just toxic throughout the game. When that final whistle goes, you will hear absolute twice the amount of toxicity throughout the game that has been aimed at you. And you will know what it's like. You can take your digs at us uh, when we're not there. But now we're there, you'll keep quiet. You won't be, you won't be taking digs at us. You'll stay quiet and we know that. Because we will be using our voice and we will drive you out. Um, I don't know what else to say there. Preseason for me is not going well. We've got a win, a draw and a loss. But we've conceded in every single game. The defence is non-existent. It's just, in, it's just a mess. He's not trying new things. We're sticking to the constant same... Um, Formation and <coughs> tactics. Um, well, uh, uh, against Rotherham as well, we can say that we had seven or eight defenders. It's against Rotherham. But yeah, um, I'm glad to have finally got that off my chest. Uh, so that's all I've got to say about that. Now, on to another subject. Um, there's been a, uh, a photo being leaked that could potentially be our new away kit. And I'm going to show that to you just in case you haven't seen that. And here it is. As you can see, um, this has been leaked around uh, social media, Twitter, Facebook mainly. That's the only ones that I'm on. Um, first impression, I really like it. I do, I really do like this kit, uh, this uh, shirt, if it is to be our, our away kit. Uh, apparently it's not being released until tomorrow. So, if you go back to my leaked photo of the home kit, uh, I was right on that one. And looking at this one, I I hope it is because I really I really do like the black and gold combination. Um, if you can see through that image or or not, there you'll see there are like stripes. Uh, it it really does look good. I really like this uh, waker, and I'll I would quite happily have this uh, rather than that number four thing of a home shirt um, but yeah this is what looks to be the new away kit for us that has taken so long to appear so long this should have been released with the when the home kit was released but um, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on there so uh, let me know what you think of the uh, new away kit and uh, do you agree that um, Bruce has to go? Was you a Bruce in or a Bruce out from the moment he entered? Uh, was you a Bruce in, Bruce out last season? Was you a Bruce in, Bruce out in his first season? Do you want Bruce in or do you want Bruce out? I'm guessing I'd see more 
of one than the other. Uh, I'd be shocked if I did see the other. Uh, but yeah, that's all I've got to say to, uh, on this, guys. Bruce out. That's uh, really it. He needs to go. He has to go. He should never have been at this club. I mean, to be fair, he turned it down once before. Why did we go back for him? Um, so, yeah. Uh, Bruce out. Leave your comments down below. Do you like the new away kit? If it is to be our new away kit, uh, you Bruce in, Bruce out. I'll be interested to see what you have to say. Always be nice, be kind. Uh, no hating. I don't. I don't appreciate all the hate. Uh, and I'm happy you, you stick. You stick to the rules. Uh, so that, that that's great. Um, so yeah, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. I am just seven away from reaching 50 subscribers, which is amazing. I'm so happy to see uh, subs appearing of late. And, uh, yeah, it's really, really good to see. So I'm only seven away from 50 subs now. Uh, do leave a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the notification bell as well so that you will never, ever miss a video from me in the future. The moment I post, you will be notified about that. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. So, um... I'm glad to have got a lot off my chest there. I've had a little rant. My first rant video. So, uh, uh, could it be the first of many? With Bruce, it's possible. But uh, yeah. Take care, guys. See you later.